ఓం శ్రీ గణేషాయ నమ ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ ఇన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రీసెంట్ షార్ట్స్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ మెన్షన్ దట్ ఐ వుడ్ టాక్ టు యూ అబౌట్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ యూ నీడ్ టు డూ దిస్ న్యూ ఇయర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ జనవరి లెట్స్ క్విక్లీ జంప్ ఇన్ టు దట్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ ప్లీజ్ లైట్ యూర్ ల్యాంప్స్ డైలీ ఎవ్రీ డే అట్లీస్ట్ వన్స్ ఇన్ అ డే ట్రై టు లైట్ ద ల్యాంప్ టు ద గాడ్ ఇన్ ద పూజా రూమ్ ఆర్ యూర్ ఆల్టర్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అట్ హోమ్ అదర్వైజ్ కీప్ అ ఫోటో ఆఫ్ యూర్ కులదేవత అండ్ స్టార్ట్ డూయింగ్ దట్ no i live in an apartment i don't have a puja room if you have all those constraints just keep one photo and wherever you are keeping the photo make sure it's all fire proof and things like that and please light a lamp every day same time every day so that is one thing second thing is once in a week try to light ghee lamps okay ghee lamps are very very auspicious for house it brings in sattvic vibrations it it gives a sense of calmness and peace and it also restores prosperity so ghee lamps are another very important uh, thing that you need to follow every every week at least once okay the next thing i would recommend you to do is one day in a week you dedicate week dedicated to your kula devata do something very special for your kula devata because your kula devata is the one who is your atm pin you know no matter which god you pray to what you do if your kula devata doesn't sanction or key in the pin you will not get it sanctioned so you need to make your kula devata feel special and understand that you understand that your kula devata is important assuming you don't know who your kula devata is then just say kula devata abhyo namaha and dedicate one day in a week just for that uh do maybe hanuman need jobs and light lamp and say <coughs> uh, the un- tell the universe to show you who your kula devata is do something special but assuming you know who your kula devata is like for example if it's a venkateshwara i may have mentioned in the previous videos like you know friday and saturdays are very auspicious for him so uh, you know offer what w- choose one of the days and you know ghee lamps on that day do a special name they get some special flowers do something special for him that's another important thing every month from your income set aside some percentage or some small amount for charity whether you're a salaried employee or a business employee i mean or a business person irrespective make sure that you allocate some amount for charity and by charity i don't mean to say you give it to a a charitable trust or something you know try to go and you know buy some meals uh for underprivileged really underprivileged or if you know somebody who's doing this you can always contribute through them uh try to help them in education try to buy them some medicines if it's a, the weather is cold think get involved okay think and see if you can get them some blankets or some bed sheets some dresses for the valley you know those kind of things you need to really think think and do okay and main thing is be consistent don't do it once in a year and say it's my birthday i'll do it it's my wedding anniversary i'll do it see if god had to give you income only on one day in a year how would you feel you should try to bring in miracles in the life of people who are least expecting it like these beggars or you know underprivileged they don't even expect you know suddenly you do something they feel very good buy one month provisions for the underprivileged like for example your maid servant it could be somebody who cleans a bathroom whoever it is or it could be a cobbler on the road try to help try to help give them surprises and help and try to be consistent with this set be disciplined even if it's 100 rupees do it if you are earning 100 rupees give 10 rupees that should be your aim that should be your aim and assuming every year you are getting a bonus and your salary is increasing please increase your charity also that's when you will also grow really grow otherwise after a point you will become stagnant so learn how to use your money in a wise way okay and <clears throat> along with all this keep some anushthan for uh, like you know your kula devata it could be a kula devata or your ishta devata some jap one or two gods please keep that in mind do at least one mala 108 times if you are already doing 108 this year try to do more don't be stagnant that is my whole idea if you are already doing whatever i have told you increase the intensity like for example if you are lighting a lamp once in a day try to light, light it twice once in the evening once you are back from work that's how it should be that's how it should be try to increase increase the charity do something special for kula devata yes maybe add more flowers do do something more scale up like how you want to improve every year financially uh, mentally skills wise uh, peace of mind wise like that you should also improve 
uh, yourself spiritually then only you will be able to gear up see the when this happens only that will also happen but unfortunately most of us think that we only want to materialistically improve and nothing should happen uh, on the spiritual front you don't give god anything but god has to give you everything no try to ha- see you know that that give and take should be there even in this otherwise materialistically we are very good at all this we just say okay if somebody gives me something i'll do something in return you know he scratches my back i scratch his back that is something that is already there right but you should also see that you know you do something for god uh, or for spirituality for your uplifting yourself then they will also the divine world will also help you okay so coming back to the point try to do some anushtan every single day okay before you sleep make sure you do it then visit temples often often see i'm not saying go to pilgrimage often visiting your kuladevata once in a year definitely you need to do that at least uh, send them some dakshina uh, you can keep a small piggy bank uh, bank at home and piggy bank at home and then you can keep putting money in that hundi and then once in a year when you go you can put everything there okay but if you are not able to uh, visit the main kuladevata shrine then you can always visit the local shrine of the same god like um if it's um let's again take the example of uh, the popular venkateshwara only if you are not able to visit uh, tirupati every year for some reason uh then at least visit once in a week here uh, ideally irrespective of whether you visit or not once in a week you should try to visit or at least once in a month start like that okay and then once in a year make sure you go visit your kuladevata and like i said keep a hundi at home okay keep uh, uh, collecting money there some small 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 prayers if something happens out of the way which you didn't expect and you want that to be sorted just offer some kanike some uh, you know contribution as an offering and say uh, please help me and then so that will get collected in that right so after that when you personally go you can offer it there also do one little bit of homework do some research talk to your grandparents if they are there talk to your aunts talk to your uncles find out what are the traditions that they were following that you may have missed because those also really help and uh, most importantly uh, offering tarpana or something which will uh, help the ancestors evolve and you know move to the next level doing that at least on mahalaya mahasa if you don't know how to you know do it for or if you don't have the time or the bandwidth to do it on the tithi day every year at least do it on the mahalaya mahasa um, do some daan in their name do tarpana in their name do the shraddh that's very important so these are some of the things that i have collected for now and uh, yeah the list will go on as and when i get some prompts from the divine i'll definitely make some videos and share but at least for this new year when you're making up your resolution and uh, preparing your resolution please keep all these things in mind and be consistent in doing this you remember the more you do Uh, in a disciplined way the more organized you become in all aspects of life this is the fuel okay this is like filling your fuel tank and then with with the tank full you can drive to any destination whether it's materialistic or spiritual or anything else also so um, adi daivika adhyatmika bhautika all the three aspects of life will be covered in this i wish you all the best and a blissful new year ahead try to light lamps in the life of people around you the same thing will happen to you god will send somebody else who can light the lamp in your life what you do is what you get what you sow is what you reap all the best and wish you all a very happy new year